and eventually as you pass through the little village of Ardmillan you come to a couple or three islands in Strangford Loch and one of these islands, the last one opening out onto the main expanse of the loch is uh, Mahi Island, named after an ancient Celtic uh, saint, Saint Mahi and there I found, to my great surprise, a fabulous uh, ancient Celtic monastery, an, an abbey with a round tower and the remains and stump of a church and there was even a, a strange wonderful uh, sundial and and then just next door to it all looking down over the loch was this rather large and incredibly spiky and fierce looking thorn tree which was very dramatic against the sky and uh, one of the locals who was chancing past told me that the thorn tree was a magic tree a fairy tree and that no farmer would ever dream of of cutting that down and I would sit there and have sandwiches, uh, drink lemonade and just lie on the grass next to the fairy tree and look down through, across the stones and the stump of the round tower and you'd see the blue expanse of the loch and it was fabulous and it's a place as far as I know that has never attracted tourists in great numbers. Just a wee bit further south you, you will still see uh, quite strong evidence of the, 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 the carrying on of the old Celtic traditions and, and uh, Dan Patrick of course with its cathedrals is, is where you'll have Catholic and uh, Protestant representation in quite uh, uh, large numbers.